Wrightsville kids, I'm Pastor Julia, and today I have a really special story to tell you. In the very, very beginning of everything, God made the world, and God made people. And God made people of all different colors and sizes and shapes. And God said that all of these people were good. God loved all of these people. But after a while, people weren't really living the way that God had called them to live. And they weren't being kind to each other and they didn't know how to live like God wanted them to. So God came up with a plan. God picked a group of people called the Israelites and God called them out to be a special community, God's special people. Now, God didn't love the Israelites more than everyone else, but he did give them a special job to do, to be a special community that would live the way that God wanted everyone to live, and that they'd be able to make an example for everybody else so that everyone would come to know and love God. But, one of the things that the Israelites started doing was to make sure that they could stay as this specific community and to remember all of the ways that they were called to live. They started to just spend time with each other. And they didn't really want to spend time with everybody else who they called Gentiles. And that's how it went on for a long time. Sometimes they would spend a little time together, but mostly they stayed separate. Well, then Jesus came. And Jesus was one of the Israelites. And Jesus started to teach everyone a different way. But after Jesus died and then was raised and went back to heaven, not everyone was sure what they were supposed to do. Until one day, Peter, who was one of Jesus' good friends, had a vision. And he had a dream that he was with all different kinds and colors of people. All of these people that he had never spent time with before because he thought God didn't want him to. And it turns out that God actually wanted him to spend time with them. So, Instead of the Israelites who were following Jesus staying separate, they decided to come join everyone. And they came in and started telling all of the other Gentiles about Jesus. And they learned how to worship God together by following Jesus. And this is what the church looks like now. It turns out that God's love was a whole lot bigger than people sometimes remembered that it was. And that's still true today. Sometimes it can be easy to think that we're God's special people and that other people aren't loved by God as much. But that isn't true. God's love is big enough for everyone and there is plenty of love to go around. So today, I hope that you will thank God for God's really big love, and also remember to love everyone around you, whether they look like you or not, whether they think like you or not, whether they act like you or not, because everyone is a child of God. Let's say a prayer now together. God, thank you for your big love. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you that there is enough love for all of us. We love you back. In Jesus' name, amen.